Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading. Perhaps you may have a problem, an issue, or concern that you are looking for a sign or another perspective or just a different way of thinking about it, and this reading can help you. Or perhaps you may simply allow your mind, darling, to settle within your heart and let whatever issues or concerns you may have surface from your subconscious and resonate with this reading. So the first card I have for you today, darling, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is listen to your body. Yes. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you today is surprise yourself do something you have never done before excuse me <laughs> sorry working at midnight trying baby um and the next card i have for you is from katara who represents our root chakra and her message to you today is your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood okay so I get this puppy. I am so excited about this reading. So, darling, what I would like for you to do is take a moment to travel back in your imagination to your childhood. And I want you to think about who were your heroes. Yes. Who were your heroes? What was your favorite TV shows, your favorite movies, your favorite activities, your favorite songs, your favorite artists, your favorite... Oh my God, who did you adore? I'm talking about mm, maybe anywhere from 7 to about 12. Yeah, I'll give you a moment. Who did you adore? Because I want, because I want you to write down. Now, now that you have thought about these people, the people you learned about in school, it could be somebody you learned about in school. Because even when I first word, heard about Harriet Tubman, I was like, <gasps> You know what I'm saying? Even even in, like, what was I, like in kindergarten, first grade, second grade? That's my girl. So, I want you to think about your childhood heroes. Um, I love the Hulk. Oh my, I love the Hulk. Oh, my God. Do you remember the Hulk when he would say, you wouldn't like me if I'm angry? Oh. oh, my God. Even as a little girl, I understood that. But anyway, I loved country music, and um, I always wanted to be a country music singer. Tammy Wynette, George Jones, to me, um, oh my God, Waylon Jennings. I just, I grew up on country music. My dream of dreams, <laughs> my heroes was country music stars because they would tell these stories to me that would make you cry. Like I loved a good story and a song. Um, but anyway, I want you to think about that because now what I like for you to do, now that you have, I want you to make a list of at least, oh, let's say anywhere from five to seven people that you adored, or whether they were in the cartoons or rather they were singers or artists or television shows. Who did I, oh my God, I love the Brady Bunch. Did you like the Brady Bunch? Oh my God. Love the Brady Bunch show. I dream of Jeannie. Beverly Hillbillies. Okay, that was that was my jish. That was my back in the day. You know, that was when I was a kid. I was in love. So anyway, I want you to think about all of the things that you loved as a kid. When you were seven, anywhere from seven to twelve, even maybe a little younger if you can remember. And now, who did you want to be like? Like I always wanted to like my, my fantasy as a kid, I wanted to do a duet with Conway Twitty. That was my dream of dreams. Me and Conway Twitty would do a would do a duet because I love, you know, like a good anyway. Now, what I want you to do is think about everything that glittered about that person's life. Like what did you love? Did you love, you know, the fact that they were on stage? Did you think they were attractive? Did you think they were wealthy? What did you love about them? What did you love about your heroes when you were a child? Like, I know you're thinking like, hmm, I was a kid, I didn't know. But no, there was a reason that you loved those 
artists, those stars, those sitcoms, those cartoons. I used to love the Flintstones, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So I want you to think about why did, why did you love them? I love the Hulk because I felt that I was always containing my anger. And when I would lose it, it was just like, okay, that's it, you know? I loved, I just, I loved, you know, um, George Jones and Conway Twitty and all of these because I, I was a song, I used to write songs. I would torture you with a song one day. Um, but I used to write songs as a kid. So, but, and I, but I never thought about like traveling on the roads and what it would really be like to get a record contract, even though I used to think about that, you know. Um, the, the, when I say I, I used to think about the idea of having a record contract but never like what it would really be like to be on the road so now that you're thinking about your childhood legends right the people that you grew up admiring and what you admired about them now i want you to think about their life and what you think it took for them to get there like what were their what were the um the things that maybe weren't so glamorous about their life like do you th you know like would, would you want to travel would you want to you know be in practice all day would you want to like maybe if you were a star and people just love you for your public persona but people don't really like you for who you are but I don't know what would be your the, the, the downside for you but I want you to think about these personalities and these people that you love and then I want you to think about what glittered about them what made th what made you adore them right and then darling i want you to write down the characteristics that you have in common with your childhood heroes because one thing life has taught me is that if you really admire somebody that characteristic is actually inside of you did you know that that's why you admire like attracts like you're interested because there's something in you that resonates with that like i've never i don't think i've ever had like a doctor <laughs> you know like a medical doctor or you know you, typically if you like something that characteristic and trait already is a part of your persona and when you see them they are there to remind you of your mission yes your purpose so i want you to think about what you have in common with them and then i want you to think about what you think it took for them to get there or what it's if they're still here what it takes for that person to be who they are like do you you know discipline commitment consistency um, what type of work ethic do you think this person needs to have? Because what I want you to think about now is endurance. Like in order for you to endure on your journey to whatever it is you want, I want you to borrow those characteristics from your childhood heroes. You, you know what I'm saying? So, and now we're going to move to the next card, which is, you know, listen to your body right so I want you this is why I want you to listen to your body darling you can hear me focus because now that you have thought about your childhood heroes your legends your you know the things that you love about them the things that was glamorous the things that you know that glittered so to speak and the things that you the characteristics that was necessary in order for them to endure their path now I want you to think about your body. Now I do. I want you. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get really honest with you. Do you think, when you look at your body, everything about you, that you have what it takes to be who you plan to be, or who you want to be, or what you would like to accomplish, or your aspirations? Now the reason I'm asking you this is because. I really believe that people who are supermodels, they signed up for it. They said, look, God, okay, you know what the industry is like. I mean, I know there are some exceptions to the rules, but generally speaking, they said, look, I need to be at least 5'11 or, you know, just six feet. Some, don't, don't put me down there, you know what I'm saying? Or if you want to be a basketball player, or if you want to be a doctor, you can't be a person who's like, oh, but I don't like blood. 
You know what I'm saying? I personally think that I want you to take a spiritual and psychological inventory of your body and ask yourself 100% am I built for what it is that I want because I promise you you're going to find out that you are and if you if what you want is not in alignment with the body that you have then you are meant to create it so if you say well but I'm in a wheelchair uh, guess what? There are beauty contests for people who are in wheelchairs. I actually saw one. I was at a, um, a hotel for some event, and there were actually there was actually a beauty contest. So whatever you want, you are completely and 100% equipped to bring that to fruition. So remember, the people you admire, there are two sides to them. There's the glitter, and the, the glam, right? what you see and why you're attracted to them and then there are the things that you don't see that is required in order for you to make it so if you want to be some people want to be a basketball player but they don't really know you have to get up in the morning you have to work out and you have to take care of yourself you have to show up for practice you I want you to think no understand that your wealth where is that card child it says your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood what we're talking about in your childhood in this particular reading is the people you admire and how you learned that money was earned in your early childhood. Do you, you know, we all have this idea in our head about how money is earned from the people that we admire. I'm just going to show up and get this really big, huge check or how hard you have to work or how little you have to work. And that idea was established early in life. So I want you to think about the actual people you admire. I want you to also think about how much money they made. The, you know, like I said, all of the glamorous things that are about their lives. And then I want you to think about what was not so glamorous about their life. I want you to attach both to yourself, like the glamour part, like I'm... You know, I'm good at this, I like to sing, blah, blah, blah. But whatever it is, I want you to attach the good and the bad about your heroes to yourself. And then I want you to listen to your body and I want you to assess yourself and say, I am built for my dreams. If they made it, I can make it too. That is the whole point of this reading. If they made it, I can make it too. Now then, lastly, darling, what I would like for you to do the last card we have is surprise yourself do something you have never done before now from making your list of the good and the bad I would like for you to do something that you have that really makes your give you butterflies in your stomach that really makes you nervous like say for example um, if you're a person who really you're not into makeup go get yourself a pair of big lashes if you're and because if you have selected somebody who have that because what I want you to do is I want you to think of something that one of your heroes would have done and then I want you to do it yourself because I want it to be as like an initiation to that part of you that is just like the legend you know what I mean? So that you can display more of that behavior in your day-to-day -day life. Yes. Okay? So you are going to, if they did it, you can do it too. And you're going to do one thing that your childhood legend would have done. Because when you tap into the things that you enjoyed as a child, you tap into your prosperity. Because you tap into the part of you that was free before you learn what you couldn't do and who you couldn't be i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you darling in the next video